Oh, one more thing, sir. You told me you couldn't possibly have been at the crime scene at that time on account of your alibi. That being that you were at home playing your PlayStation 3. Now, forgive me, but if that's true, I just gotta ask. How could you have been playing your PS3 if the PS3 has no games? Why, Lieutenant? The PS3 is backwards compatible with many PS2 games. I was simply playing one of my many PS2 games at the time of the murder. Surely you're at least familiar with Kingdom Hearts. I'd be happy to show you my save file if it would put your mind at ease. Ah, gee. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that one's a classic. One of the best ones, even. My wife loves that little Sora guy. No, I agree. You're right, sir. I should have thought of that. Well, I'll get out of your head, then. Oh, one more thing. I just remembered something you might find a little interesting. See, you've got one of those black models with the top-loading tray, and those PS3 models are backwards compatible, but only for PS1 games. Kingdom Hearts wasn't on the PS1, though, was it? Oh. Yes, how very observant of you, Lieutenant. Well, I suppose I must have been mistaken. My memory of that dreadful night, it's all jumbled, you see. It must have been one of my other games from my PS1 library. Spyro, perhaps, or... Yes, now I remember. It was Final Fantasy VII. The character of Cloud is in both that game and in Kingdom Hearts. I must have simply gotten my wires crossed. How silly of me. Ah, all right then. That explains it. Well, have a good night then. Oh, uh, I figure I ought to let you know. We did have your memory card searched. We didn't see Final Fantasy VII on there. Must have been a glitch or something. Might want to get that checked. Now see here, Columbo. Perhaps if you were spending more time looking for actual clues rather than harping on my gaming habits, you might have caught the real killer by now. If you have anything more to say to me, you can kindly say it to my lawyer. So, if you'll excuse me, I have a Twitch stream scheduled for noon and I do not care to keep my followers waiting. Good day, sir. Certainly, sir. I'll be out of your way now. Oh, gee, gosh, I nearly forgot. I figured I'd mention. We did get one lead. On the murder, sir? We determined from Mr. Elbertson's autopsy that he was repeatedly beaten in the back of the head with a small, blunt object. No bigger than about 157 millimeters long ways. Likely a, uh, analog game pad of some kind. Dual shock, that's what the lab boys told me. You got any idea what sort of console uses those? I only ask, because you seem to know about these sort of things. What with you being, well, being a gamer.